All right, welcome back, guys. Welcome to a brand new chapter. What we're gonna do here, I'm really excited. Uh, and I, as a side note, it's probably a bad idea to, to record this video. I just had a bunch of dental work done, so one side of my face is numb, and uh, you know I can already barely talk. So if my face looks funny, it should be getting better. It's been several hours. Um, but, it, but if I slur some words even more than normal, uh, or my face just looks weird or whatever, you know, uh, sorry about that. But I'm excited to get going, so I didn't want to wait uh, another day to start recording this uh, chapter. So we've learned, if you've gone through the complete web dev course up until this point, uh, you've learned all the basics we need to actually build a fully working, dynamic website. And most, we're not going to build a full website or anything like that because I just don't want to spend that much time on that. It's because we have other things that we need to jump in and learn. But what I do want to show you, or what I do want to be able to do, is take everything we've learned up until this point and build something working, okay? Something that we can be proud of, something that we can build off of. And almost all websites have a login and registration system. So we're going to we're going to build a login registration system and I'm going to show you that in just a moment. Um, but uh, basically uh, this login registration system is going to do have some pretty neat little functionality. So let me just actually let me just dive in and show you. I'm too excited um, because I'm finally we're finally almost done doing all the beginner basic stuff and you guys are well on your way to building your own projects and things and so that is really really cool so let me switch over to my screen here and let me just kind of go through what we are building uh you're going to be presented with a login screen that looks like this okay so you you can enter an email and a password and then there's a remember me cookie that will be set if you have forgotten your password you can click this reset password here um, and you can put your email address in it and it will send you an email uh, to recover your password. But uh, if you don't have an account, uh, you can click register here and you can register a new account and then we can log in. So let me just show you an example of how this works. I'm going to go ahead and fill out this form here. So I'll put my first and last name and we're going to put Curtis at freeskills.com, which is not a real website as of, as of this time. So. <laughs> Don't try to go there. And then I'm gonna give it a password. All right, and I'll hit register. And um, actually it will send this email. Uh, I got an email client op up and running here. It's just a virtual one. So I'll click here and uh, this is a kind of a bug right now where this software that I'm using doesn't read these emails as um, HTML. Uh, but that's okay. Um, but basically, it's going to send an email. This will work on live, and it says, "Hey, please verify your account by clicking the link below." So I'm going to go ahead and copy um, that link, and we'll go back here, and we will paste and go to that link. And now it says that your account has been verified. Please log in. So this verifies the email address. Um, and let me just show you in the database here. It sets up a user with a first and last name and email address, and then it gives a hashed password. Uh, it has a unique very code, and then now it also has a Boolean whether or not the person was verified. So let me just go ahead then, and uh, we'll go here and log in. And let's say that I put in the wrong login information here. We're gonna get a, an error on our form that says something is wrong with your email or password. And so let's say I forgot my password, so let's go ahead and reset our password. And I'm gonna go ahead and put in my email address there and recover password. And now it will create a five digit code that's gonna live for 10 minutes only. So we have 10 minutes to check our email. So I'm gonna go here to my inbox and it says reset your password. And it gives this code, it tells you that it will expire in 10 minutes. And the code that it gives is right here. This so I'm going to copy that. I'm going to go back here and we will put that code in. And if we put the correct code in, it'll take us to this reset password. And here, I'm just going to give myself a new password. And uh, there we go. Now it's taking us to the login screen. And if I log in with the correct password, and I'm going to click Remember Me and log in, 
Now it uh, pops up, it says, hello, Curtis, and this would normally be your website, but it will say, hello, Curtis, and you can log out. But before I log out, let's just inspect and go to the applications and we'll go to cookies. And you can see that it does set up a cookie for me. And if I close my browser down and come back, it's going to auto log me in uh, based on my cookie. I'm going to close that so then I can log out. So this is the functionality that we're going to be building in this chapter. Um, we're going to do all of these things. Uh, and so it's super excited. Um, before we get going, though, I just want to, if you've been following along so far, you'll have everything installed that you need to build this. If you've skipped some of the beginner stuff because you've already taken some HTML and stuff like that, I highly encourage you to check out those videos. But if you're not going to, uh, just make sure that you have uh, a text editor such as uh, VS Code or Atom or something like that installed and you'll need XAMPP up and running. Um, so go ahead and download and install this for your operating system. I am doing everything on Linux so uh, you may have to do some additional research if you're uh, using Windows or Mac to make some things work. All right, enough of the disclaimers, but I hope you guys are excited. I hope you're as excited as I am to get going and build this uh, neat little login registration system from scratch. Um, we're going to be using procedural PHP, and we're going to be, um, which is a very basic way of programming. We'll get more uh, advanced as we go after this project, but we're going to use a very simple uh, procedural way of programming. And um, we are going to discover a few things about security that we haven't talked about yet. We're going to learn uh, just a few really awesome things. And um, yeah, I think in the next video, we are going to go ahead and start setting up and doing our HTML for, for this project. And then we will carry on until we're done with this. And I hope to see you guys there. Comment, like, subscribe. If, subscribe. And there, there goes my mouth. I can't really say that word. Um, but if you guys have enjoyed this so far, just go ahead and leave me a comment too and let me know uh, some big aha moments that you've had along the way, some moments that you, you that I may have said something that made something click. Uh, just go ahead and let's have this more interaction here on, the, on, on uh, whatever platform you're watching this on. So I will see you guys in the next video.